Hi everyone, this is Shubram Pandey. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. I would like to welcome uh, all of you in the SMAR conference. Uh, today I'll be presenting my R package, uh, which is uh, based on meta-analysis of multiple survival curves and where you'll be getting as a result is the pooled survival probabilities and the pooled kaplan meier curve. I hope that uh, you can see my screen. I'll be putting the presentation in the presentation mode. Okay, so uh, the title of this presentation is Meta-Analysis of Survival Curves Using the Multivariate Methodology of DL uh, Method. So uh, there was uh, a paper published in 2014 and we have used that paper. We have used the methodology to write the R codes and to uh, like to make our uh, our package so before starting i would like to give a brief introduction about myself uh, i am shubram pandey and currently i am holding multiple positions uh, one in managing director at heorlytics and the other in head of modeling and advanced analytics at pharmacoevidence both these companies like heorlytics and pharmacoevidence are uh, health economics outcomes research companies uh, I'm a statistician by training and health economist by profession and having more than half a decade of experience in core health economics outcomes research domain. Uh, my expertise uh, is to uh, develop the health economic models from scratch for various in indications and, and vaccines. And also uh, I'm uh, amongst the few global names who is transforming the Excel-based models into R and R shiny uh, based models. As we know that uh, the uh, R models are the future. Uh, I'm also author of the uh, MetaServ R package, uh, which is available on a CRAN and GitHub to download, which I'll be presenting in this meeting. So just to give you a brief background that there were few uh, existing methods of uh, uh, which which uh, like which suggests to pool the survival probabilities at at multiple time points. So the meta analysis of survival studies have focused mainly on the combination of studies comparing two arms where we assess a, a pool intervention effect, a pool measure of int intervention effect, for example, hazard ratio, uh, but sometimes the pool measure of the intervention effects may not reflect the exact situation, like it can give you the direction, but it will not tell you the exact situation that uh, how the how different curves are behaving over the time. So uh, there were the earlier proposed method for uh, pooling the survival probabilities, which is like we can uh, pool the survival probabilities as even the survival probabilities as proportions, and they can be combined at each time point using either fixed effect univariate methods or a DL method for random effect. However, there were one, one disadvantage, which is like the correlations between the survival probabilities at multiple follow-up time points. Uh, were uh, not assumed because were not considered because the uh, because at each time point were analyzed independently. Also, uh, if we go with the parametric ap approaches, then they have a strong assumption of making uh, the uh, assumption on the shape of the survival curve, which may or may not be appropriate for the for the data. So uh, the methodology which is explained in this uh, paper is uh, like the paper proposes a distribution free summary survival curve, uh, assuming the random effects where the summary survival curves are derived using the product limit estimator. And the advantage of this method is uh, that there will be no assumption on the shape of the survival curves uh, is, is needed. So like you don't have to assume any shape like exponential, viable, uh, log logistic, log normal, any kind of distributional assumptions on the shape of the survival curves. To assess the between st study heterogeneity in the estimation of the pooled conditional survival probabilities, a recent extension of the DL methodology was used. So uh, they are using the uh, a recent extension of the of the DL method, which also allows the estimation of the mean and median survival times. Uh, but there is one limitation of this method is that this method is to be used cautiously in case of rare events or in case of less number of studies, as the DL method assumes 
that the estimates to be pooled are normally distributed or that the number of studies is sufficient for the central limit theorem to imply that the weighted average is approximately normally distributed. And since this paper is using a recent extension of the DL method, so this assumption holds true for this method as well. So in case of rare events, in case of where the events are uh, happening rarely in all the studies or uh, the number of studies are less, the result should be interpreted with cautious. I'm not saying that the results uh, were not true, but uh, it should be inter interpreted with, uh, with caution. So uh, the meta, uh, so the meta serve R package is available on the CRAN uh, repository and the development version of this package, uh, which I am updating continuously uh, with different functionalities, which can be installed from the from the GitHub. So uh, I'll be presenting both uh, these these links here. Uh, the goal of this package is to ease running the analysis with the methodology discussed in the reference paper. So this is the reference paper which uh, I which I am using. Uh, so the goal of this package is only to use the methodology uh, so that the user can use the methodology with 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 ease. And uh, the main function of this package is MSO, uh, which is used to estimate the pooled Kaplan mirror and uh, uh, and summary survival estimates. So uh, if I can uh, show you the CRAN and the GitHub page. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, this is the CRAN page. And from here, you can uh, download uh, the, the R package either, either in tar.com gz format or you can install it via install dot packages in r uh if you want to install it install the development version you can uh, go on uh on this on this repository and uh, from here you can download the development version of the of the meta survival package and as you can see the statistics uh seems uh like these are the download stats. So around 8K downloads till now and uh, uh, around 50 plus downloads over a week and 200 plus downloads over a month. So uh, in case of any 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 issues, you can go with this uh, with this link where I have explained that uh, how to load the data set and uh, how to run the different analysis. So here you can see all the gray lines indicate the multiple Kaplan mirrors, while the red ones is a pooled Kaplan mirror, no, no, for the for the random effect, and this is for the for, for the fixed effect. So yeah, coming on to how to use this this package. So uh, assuming uh, you have the Kaplan mirror curves from different published sources. And so what you have to do as a first step is you have to digitize all the Kaplan mirror curves using uh, any web plot digitizer software and uh, arrange that data in such a format that uh, is used by the GYOT algorithm. And then you have to generate the pseudo IPD using, uh, using the GYOT algorithm. So the first step is to digitize the Kaplan mirror curve. The second step is to generate the pseudo IPD uh, using the GYOT algorithm. And then the third step is to estimate the, if there is number at risk table given in the published paper, then that is completely fine. If not, then uh, you have to estimate the number at risk table uh, using the summary function in the in the survival package because this like because the meta survival package takes the number at risk table as one of the as one of the input. Uh, so uh, the first step is disguise the Kaplan mirror curve. Second step is to generate pseudo IPD. Third step I'm being rep repetitive because it's good to familiarize yourself that how you can use this package uh, very, very easily. And believe me, this package is because uh, we have, because uh, like whoever is doing the meta analysis and like whoever is in this domain, they usually come across this situation that the, we have five curves and uh, how we can get a pooled estimate. So if you have a pooled Kaplan mirror, then uh, you know that from, from the Kaplan mirror, you can derive anything like the cumulative events, cumulative hazard, hazard, hazard ratio, anything like 
So a pooled Kaplan Mio can be very, very helpful for you. So that's why this package uh, will be will be useful for you. Uh, so uh, the last step is to collate the pseudo IPT data and number at risk in one file. We have the data format given in the in the package, the sample data format. So in that in the same format, you can uh, collate the pseudo IPT and number at risk table, and then you can use the MSERF function to estimate the pooled survival probabilities and pooled Kaplan Mio. Uh, it also gives you some uh, goodness of it statistic like heterogeneity, I square, uh, which which you can use to uh, to to see that how better your model fit is. Now, uh, if you want to avoid uh, the uh, like uh, avoid estimate the number at risk table and avoid you want to avoid using the ms of package writing the r codes or uh, something still uh, you have to digitize the kaplan mirrors and uh, you have to generate the pseudo ipt uh, this this package comes with a r shiny app as well uh, which I can uh, show here. So uh, this is the Meta Survival R Shiny app, which is developed by uh, me. Uh, so this app is uh, uh, like you just need to upload the pooled IPD, uh, upload the pseudo IPD data here. No need to estimate the number at risk tables. Nothing. You just need. Uh, I will. I will show you this this app uh, live. But you can see here. Uh, how convenient to use this this app and you can get the estimates uh, here which you can download in csv and pdf for your reference purpose so this r shiny app makes the use of r package very very easy in terms of making the data set according to the r r package and uh, the user only needs to upload the collated pseudo ipd file that's it without any number at risk table and user can download the results in the excel format and this app is for uh like for now, this app is free to use, but as soon as we are adding the functionalities in this app, like the extrapolation techniques using the parametric splines and then uh, pure fractions, something, if we are adding the more functionalities like dynamic reports kind of thing, uh, if uh, so that functionality is later on, we'll be planning to implement that functionality on a subscription-based model, but yeah, for now, uh, this app is free to use and this app is hosted on, on the GitHub. Uh, sorry, this app is hosted on the on the AWS server. So I'll be quickly taking you through the Meta Survival R Shiny app. Uh, okay. Okay, so yeah. So uh, this is uh, the landing page of this app. The You cannot skip this small dialog box. And believe me, we are not collecting any kind of uh, data. We are just, we just want to know that who, uh, who is using our app. So uh, we'll not send any, any spam mails, but you need to access, uh, you need to enter a valid mail ID to access this platform. So for now, I am just, um, Putting mine one should be the panty at the rate here on the bits. And when you enter, uh, you will see a welcome uh, message here. And then uh, here are the logos of the company in which I'm working. Now, we have two sets of data. On the left hand side, we can, we have some settings to see the data, download sample data and all those on the right hand side, we'll be getting the results, but the results will be generated after running the analysis. So the, uh, so there are two, so the platform takes data in two format. If you don't have data and you just want to interact with the platform, just want to uh, see that how this platform works. So you can uh, uh, click on the sample data and the sample data, which is available in the platform, it will be loaded directly. And then you can select treatments to be pulled in the analysis. So you can simply remove whatever the uh, you don't want to uh, pull, or if you want to select all, you can just do it from here. And then uh, you can see the data from here. Like you, if you if you click on view data, you can see uh, whatever the data that you have. 
So as I have mentioned that you just need to upload the collated pseudo IPG. So you can see time and event as one of the column. And then a third column, which is label, which is a unique identifier to uh, uh, like to uh, to see that how how many arms are uh, to be pulled in the in the analysis and you can see that this is just a, a pseudo ipd data where the events are in the format of one and zero and then we have a time where the events happens and then a third column the column should be renamed in this way uh, you can just hide this data from by clicking the uh, this view data button again and then you can click on download sample data. Once you click on download sample data, so the sample data which is in the platform will be downloaded in a in a CSV format, and you can see time, event, and label here. So the column names should be same, but you can change your data, whatever the data you want to put here. You can change change your data here. So uh, once you have uh, selected the sample data. Uh, now you don't need any uh, uh, you don't need this option in uh, in this sample data option now the, once you click to run the analysis you will see the analysis uh, is being done and you can see the results now so uh, the first table is the mean median and restricted mean estimates so the median from fixed effect and random effect model these are the point estimates and these are the confidence intervals around that then we have the restricted mean fixed effect uh, restricted mean from the FEM and REM. So these are the point estimates and these are the lower and upper bounds. You can download this table in the CSV and the PDF format in order to uh, uh, if 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 you want to share this with with someone. Then we have the goodness of fit statistic like the heterogeneity Q, H square and I square. Uh, all these statistics uh, were explained in the in the paper. Then we have the pooled kaplan meier plot uh, for uh, from the fixed effect and from the random effect. You can save these uh, from this like save save image as you can uh, download these two plots as as well. And you can see the gray lines indicate the uh, like the kaplan meiers from multiple studies. And the red one with the confidence bands include uh, presenting the pooled cap pooled cap linear curve. Then the next is the pooled tabular results uh, for fixed effect and random effect. So in this result, you will see the time uh, pooled survival probability at that time point, lower bound and upper bound. So you can download this table from uh, in the in the CSV and the PDF format as again. Uh, and then this is the results from the random effect. At last, you have one table, which is the data verification. And this table tells you that all the studies which you have included in this, uh, they are seems to be found OK and they are included in the analysis. So what what is the reason behind this? So let's say, for example, uh, you have some events uh, happening, which is maybe by mistake, there is some problem in the data, like there is some negative sign at the at the time point and there is, or maybe in the event column in the format of one zero, there will be some other additional number or text. So then that study will be dropped from the analysis just to avoid any break even in the, in the app. And uh, you can, and then uh, you will found here, not okay. Like uh, if if there is any error message here, then you can uh, check that error message and you can resolve that as well. Now, if you are simply removing, let's say you can see multiple curves here. Now, I just want to pull, let's say only three curves. You just need to remove it from here. Again, click to run the analysis to update the data. And now you can see, now there are three Kaplan meers since we have selected only three studies and then a red one from uh, from the fixed effect and and random effect model and then now you can see in the data verification there are only three studies and all the three studies found to be past check now coming on to the addition uh, the other functionality of this app this is related to the sample data now if you have your own data set and uh, you can click here custom data and once you click on the custom data there will be one other option which is the upload data in csv format so you can download the sample data here from here change the data in this format and then re-upload so i have just uh, uh 
did one for this presentation. GitHub. Shine and then sample data. So once you'll uh, upload the sample data, you can see now the treatments names and all those things were changed. So uh, you can now run the analysis. It's running. Yeah, now you can see you can see our different set of results here. There are multiple Kaplan years here. Like I don't think I don't see the median estimates because the median is not reached in any uh, in the in the pooled Kaplan year. So that's why uh, you will not see the median. Uh, and then these are the results. These are the data verification. You can simply change it from here, and then again run the run the analysis. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, this is uh, it from the R Shiny uh, app perspective. Uh, as a next step, what we are planning to do is in to include the extrapolation techniques in this and make this graph interactive rather than the static one, because the static one is more used for the reporting purpose and the dynamic one is more for, for the interactive. So we'll be providing two more options here if you the user want to see the interactive or the uh, static and then we'll be adding the extrapolation uh, techniques here uh, using the parametric and the splines uh, and then uh, that results the results from the extrapolation can be used in the in the economic models as well directly so uh, that's all from my side uh, if you have uh, any questions and uh, concerns related to this app, please feel free to raise an issue on the GitHub page or feel free to drop me a mail at shogram.pande at the rate heuralytics.com. I'll be very happy to uh, respond to the questions and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Uh, and uh, yeah, have, have, have a wonderful conference. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you again.